On day one, I spawned in as a demon in the underworld. As a demon, I had 15 hearts. Hey, looking classy. Sitting in front of me was the demon lord. Excellent, you're here. Well, I have a mission for you. Uh, of course, your excellency, sir. You shall be sent to the overworld to do thy bidding. Gather souls and wreak havoc. Last, gather all of the souls from a village. But, sir, I don't even know how to find a villain. Never mind. I began to carry out the request of the demon lord and slay as many villagers as I could for their souls. As a demon, I had incredible speed and strength. I could even fly. I could get used to this. After eliminating the entire village, I decided to sleep in one of their homes for the night. On day two, I woke up to the sound of conversation outside and decided to investigate. There, I discovered two angels talking in the distance. Such a tragedy, Angela. So many souls lost. Is this the work of Lucius or Dinix? No, this is someone new. From the pattern they left, they're going to be more powerful than both of them combined. You're dang right, you stupid angel. What do we do? I'm going to track him down and rip him limb from limb, just as I've done with every other demon. I trust you, Castiel. That's why they say you're the realm's greatest detective. After that, the two of them left. So an angel detective versus a demon. Bring it on! Suddenly, my wings change, becoming bigger and more powerful. With my sights set on the detective, I decided to leave the village and begin to construct my own base. I started off by punching some trees for wood and then crafting some wooden tools. Afterwards, I mined for some cobblestone and upgraded to stone tools. It's building time. I decided to build my evil demonic manor on top of a mountain with a lava fall. There, I used the materials I gathered to create a basic structure, but I had plans to make things much more grand soon. This'll do for now. On day three, I was visited by some kind of demon bird. Ah, who are you? Relax, kid. I'm Linus. I was sent by the boss man. To do what? Give you missions, help out here and there, watch and study you to make sure you don't betray us. What? Why would I do that? I don't know, but it happens. All right, then. Well, hey, I got a mission for you. Here's a map. Eliminate the target and take their soul. If you do it, I got a gift for you. Sounds easy enough. After our conversation, I started heading towards my target. On the way, I slayed some cows, made a furnace, and cooked up the meat. Thank goodness, I was starving. Finally, I had reached the location to find a man tending to his garden. Hey man, I'm here for your soul. I knew this day would come. Being a messenger for the angels is dangerous work. Blah, blah, blah. Let's boogie. We began to duke it out, and surprisingly, he was actually a good fighter. Where'd you learn to battle? The angels taught me a trick or two. We continued to fight back and forth, but I was a demon, and he was only a human. After a long battle, I managed to take him out and claim his soul. Another soul for the demon lord! On days four through seven, I returned back to my base to tell Linus the good news. Excellent, kid. I got another mission for you. I need you to take out the mayor of a village just off the coast. Easy. Nope, it's not easy. You can't be detected by anyone. How am I supposed to do that? Get stealthy and take control of other people's bodies. What? I can do that? You can do a lot of things, kid. Now go! I traveled to the village Linus had told me about, and it was swarming with villagers. I then spotted the mayor of the town talking to his assistant. Perfect! I'll take control of his right-hand man. Before I could move in, Linus popped up next to me. Don't mess up! I won't! If anything goes wrong, just go with the flow. Go with the flow. Got it. I concentrated my hardest to become the assistant, and then boom! Huh? Hey, I did it! Did what, sweetie? I then realized I possessed the wrong body. Uh, oh! Uh, nothing, honey. I was just blabbering on to myself. Okay, honey. Well, it's supper time. On days 8 through 11, I was at dinner with my wife, trying my best not to blow my cover. I caught a fish today! That's great, kid. Kid? What do you think of the mayor's new proposal? Uh, I think it will terribly wound the economy. But it's a brilliant idea to bring in more revenue. What? That doesn't make any sense. She was interrupted by the sound of knocking at the door. I'll get it! When I answered, I found Linus at the doorstep. Tell him it's urgent, and you'll be right back! Uh, honey? I got something urgent to tend to. I'll be right back. I rushed off to a safe spot where Linus and I could talk alone. Oof, that just 
didn't work too well, did it, kid? No, it didn't. Now, how do I get back into my body? Just channel your demon energy. Focus on being you. I did as I was told and focused hard on my normal body. Like magic, I was myself again. Thank goodness. With my villager body gone, I returned home and decided to complete the mission another day. Why am I out here? Why are any of us out here? Get lost, punk! On days 12 through 14, I expanded my house some more. I'm a demon. I deserve only the finest of luxuries. Afterwards, I made a stone hoe and shovel and created a small garden out back. Luckily, I had some crops from the farmer I killed, which I promptly planted. I don't have any iron for a bucket. I quickly went mining, finding iron. That didn't take too long. I got back home, made a bucket, then added some water to the garden. Perfect. After finishing up, I decided I wanted some glass, so I headed towards a beach. On the way, I noticed another terrifying looking demon. Boy, you must be the new guy. Yeah, I am. Can I help you? You wanna spar? Fight a little? I'm out of practice. Sure, why not? I'll tell you what, best me in combat and I'll give you a weapon. You're on! Suddenly, the demon changed into nighttime and the battle began. Even though we were just training, they definitely weren't pulling their punches. They were able to jump to extreme heights and land onto the ground, sending a shockwave that sent me flying. I tried my best to use my wings to my advantage, but it was hard to get in close for long. We fought for what felt like hours. No matter how much I hit them, they wouldn't go down. Getting tired yet? <laughs> you wish. I continued to swoop in from above to land hits from the sky and managed to take the demon down. Down. Well done. You're tougher than you look. I guess fair is fair. So take this. The demon tossed me a soul conqueror with some arrows. On days 15 through 18, I traveled back to my base, feeling good about my fight with the demon. Once I got back, I decided to expand my house some more, adding in a large chest room. After I finished building, a baby pig walked up to me. What do you want, pig? <laughs> well, this place isn't for you, kid. Scram! <laughs> the baby pig ran away, making me feel kind of bad, which was weird, since I was a demon and all. Hey, pig. Sorry if I came off a little harsh. If you want to live here, I guess that'd be all right with me. This made the pig super excited, but my house, my rules. Got it? I quickly got to work, building a small additional room for the pig. Afterwards, I got them settled in. Linus heard the commotion and came up to me in a tizzy. What are you doing? What are you thinking? A mortal in our demonic home? I know, I know, but it'll be fine. Trust me. All right, if you say so. On days 19 through 21, I decided to return to the village to complete my mission. On the way, I did a bit of mining, gathering more cobblestone, coal, and even diamond. Nice, time to upgrade. I quickly smelted some iron and made an iron pickaxe. I mined the diamond, then plopped down a crafting bench and upgraded my pickaxe to diamond. Later on, I continued my mission to possess the mayor's assistant. All right, Max, focus, mayor's assistant. Mayor's assistant. Somehow, I managed to do it successfully. Yes, I did it. Did what? Just then, Cassiel walked into the room. Oh, uh, I uh, finished all my paperwork for the mayor. Hmm, right. Well, I'm not sure how that relates to our interview. Let's continue. There's been reports of demonic activity in your town. Have you noticed anything? Nope, nothing at all. This place has been the same as ever. Then why did you call me to investigate your troubled resident? Oh, you said demonic. I thought you said tectonic. Yeah, I've seen lots of demonic uh, stuff. Please help us. Thankfully, the mayor walked in and interrupted the conversation. I'm sorry. I need a moment with my associate. Sure thing. Go ahead. Man, that was close. On days 22 through 23, I was led to the mayor's office to help him with some work. Now's my chance. While his back was turned, I landed a surprise attack on the mayor, instantly killing him and allowing me to claim his soul. Score! Out of nowhere, the detective entered the room and spotted me besides the fallen mayor. Freeze, murderer. Uh, no? He began to attack me. I ran outside and tried my best to battle back, but in my current state, I was too weak. I tried to dodge the best I could. Wait a second, you don't fight like a man, you're a demon. Uh-oh, yeah, see ya. With my cover blown, I quickly returned to my demon body and escaped from the battle. <laughs> Better luck next time. On the way home, I hunted some cows for food and harvested some more trees. Steaks, wood, and the mare's soul. Not a bad haul. 
On days 24 through 26, I returned to the base and reported to Linus about my mission. Excellent! The Demon Lord will be pleased! Take this as your reward! He then gave me a demonic flame sword. Sweet! With my mission complete, I decided to continue my work on my personal manor. I started by going mining and gathering some more materials. Next, I finally crafted a full set of iron armor, feeling much sturdier. Afterwards, I expanded the base further, adding a few additional rooms, including a kitchen. The bones are here, but next time, I need to make it more evil. I decided to go and try out my new sword on some zombies. It was incredibly powerful, and each slash of the blade allowed me to spread fire everywhere. Additionally, I was able to launch myself forward, leaving flames in my path. Time to find some more mobs. As I continued to explore, I spotted a group of villagers being attacked by another demon. Hey, back off. Those souls are mine. Your souls? I was here first, bucko. We began to fight it out. The demon was huge and had the power to match. He would approach me slowly and shoot numerous hands from the ground below. I tried my best to avoid them, but even with my wings, it was difficult to get in close. Using my bow, I shot electric arrows at him from above until I was finally able to go in close for the kill. Victory! And now, I approached the group of villagers, ready to take their souls for myself. But as I was about to kill them, I hesitated. What the? Why don't I want to kill them? Just then, the demon lord appeared before me. What are you doing? If you can't retrieve my souls, I'll do it myself. The demon lord struck down the villagers in one swoop of a hand. No! Next time I see you hesitate, your soul will belong to me. On days 27 through 29, I returned to the base to find Linus waiting for me. Hey, kid! Boss has another mission for you! Okay, what is it? Go to the nether and battle it out with the piglin leader! Oh, and I wouldn't mess this up, man! You're already on thin ice! Uh, noted. I quickly got to work, starting by mining up some obsidian with my diamond pickaxe. I also grabbed a bit extra while I was at it. Once I gathered enough, I returned back to the base and built a nether portal in one of my empty rooms. Here goes nothing. I jumped through the portal, finally arriving in the nether. I traveled through multiple biomes, taking in the sights and the horrible screams of the gas. Finally, I arrived at a bastion remnant. This must be the place. This should be easy. Who can't take down a piglet? I entered the bastion remnant to find hordes of piglin waiting inside. Oh no. And this demon wants your souls. Will you let him have it? Sir, sir no, no sir. sir. An attack. I began to battle that with the army, but there were too many of them. Additionally, being inside made it difficult to fly. I retreated back and began to slice them down with my demonic flame sword. Each hit cut through them with ease, allowing me to start thinning the crowd. Keep them coming. Finally, I managed to take down their entire army, as well as their leader. I really hope this impresses the boss. On days 30 through 33, I was traveling back home until I saw two angel detectives conversing below. I decided to try and listen in. I couldn't quite make out what they were saying without getting too close and being spotted. Oh, I'll take over one of their bodies. That'll really impress the boss. With immense concentration, I managed to possess one of the angel's bodies easily. Let's get going, Castiel. We need rest. Uh-huh, yeah, uh, rest is good. I followed the angel into the sky and flew past the clouds to find a giant floating city. This place is beautiful. Well, here we are. I'll see you tomorrow then. You know it. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> see you then. Bye. Now's my chance to investigate. Once the angel left, I walked around the place to get a good idea of what I'm up against. On days 34 through 36, I continued to sneak around the angel's home base to see what I could find. Oh, man, I'm not sure how long I can keep this up. Possessing people is exhausting. I gotta find some dirt on these guys and quick. Suddenly, another angel started shouting at me. Hey, hey, I know who you are. Huh? Uh, you do? Yeah, yeah, you're the demon guy. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. The demon detective, right? Castile? Oh, right, yeah, of course. How can I help you? Oh, nothing. I'm just a big fan. Can I get your autograph? I gave him what he wanted in exchange for a map of the area for future recon. I then stuck towards the edge of the floating island and tossed the map off the edge. All right, it's time to leave this body. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Once I returned back to my normal self, I ran to retrieve the map. Ooh, that was interesting. On days 37 through 41, I traveled back home. Along the way, I found some cows. Using wheat, I lured them into following me home. Once I got back, I built the cows a small pen. Afterwards, I was still in the building mood, so I expanded the base some more. I added a watchtower which would be perfect for surveying the land for souls. 
After a lot of building, Linus was waiting for me. What is it this time, Linus? Look, kid, I gotta be honest with you. You're kind of doing a bad job as a demon. What? How? If you saw what I just did... Yeah, took control of some angels. I've seen it. But you have so many more options at your disposal. What do you mean? Mind control, like influencing others to do your bidding. Whoa, I can do that? Yeah, it's easy. Here's your next contract. Have some fun with it. You got it. On days 42 through 44, I traveled to my next soul contract. After traveling for quite a while, I arrived at a human's house as they expanded upon it. Okay, Max, mind control. Let's see what you got. Walk, Walk inside. inside your house. Like being put under a spell, the dude's head cocked up. Uh, I think I'll go inside now. Oh my God, it worked. Come back. back outside. Inside's boring. I want to go outside. This was amazing. I was actually controlling this person with just my words. Dance, dance party. The dude then started to dance uncontrollably. Make it stop. Make it stop. Nah, I'm just going to keep this going. I continued to watch from a distance until night fell. After hours, the man was still dancing. Is anyone out there? I need help. Monsters noticed the man's solo dance party and started to come towards him. Come on, Jeremy. Stop dancing. Stop dancing. He continued to jive, dancing until the monsters took him down. And just like that, his soul is mine. On days 45 through 47, I was returning home from my mission when I was jumped by an angel. I tried to fight back, but they had the upper hand on me. By the rule of angel law, we place you under arrest for demon-related crimes. I will be confiscating your souls. The angels took me to a police station, where I was interrogated by none other than Castiel. You possessed my body, didn't you? I ain't talking, bud. You wanna play rough, eh? Okay. Why is there boss music playing? Because usually that means... Suddenly, a rocket fired into the side of the building, exploding the prison wall. Outside stood none other than Doom Guy. He immediately began to fire rockets at me, and I dodged the best I could. I used all my powers to try and overcome him, but he was invincible. I'm out of here! On days 48 through 52, I returned to the Demon Lord's lair. I needed to report back to him about the attack from the angels. Once I arrived, I quickly began to explain what happened. So you see, Demon Lord, sir, I... What the? Oh no! He's here! What was Who's here? Don't you hear the boss music? Out of nowhere, Doom Guy returned with his bazooka. He began to fire at me with an onslaught of grenades and different attacks. Just like before, my attacks were completely useless. Ah! <laughs> Thanks. But as I was saying, the angels might have robbed me of my souls. You attack me! No souls! Ha, no, but but I got a map to the City of Angels! No, I will accept your map as a replacement for now, but any further errors will give you grave consequences. On days 53 through 58, I decided to gather some materials while I was still in the nether. First, I passed through a crimson forest and cut down some trees for their crimson stems. Next, I found a basalt delta and gathered up tons of blackstone. Finally, I located a nether fortress and mined it for red nether bricks and nether warts. Perfect for my next project. With my new materials, I returned home and got to work. I managed to convert the entire base and even give it some demonic flair. Finally, this is much more fit for my demon roots. Once my conversion was complete, I crafted up a new set of iron armor. Much better. I returned to Linus to see if he had any new missions for me. Nope. You're gonna have to find some on your own until I get more. Oh man. Well, I don't have much of a choice. I flew off to scout some prey. After traveling for a bit, I found a chest in the middle of nowhere. Just a stupid balloon? I need souls. Hiya, Maxie. You looking for souls? Behind me was a strange clown peeking at me from a sewer. Yeah, I'm looking for souls. I got some souls for you but you gotta come close to take them from me. Uh, okay. I began to walk towards him, but just as the soul he held was in reach, he began to attack me with a flurry of slashes. What the heck, jerk? I began to battle that with him, using my flame sword to keep him at bay. He was deceptively fast, and his slash attacks were nearly impossible to dodge. 
Luckily, he wasn't durable at all, and I managed to take him down. Guess you were just a silly clown at the end of the day. Upon his death, I was able to collect his soul and even gained a new ability with my demonic flame sword. I tested it out on some mobs, and it allowed me to crash down onto monsters from the sky. Woohoo! On days 59 through 61, I returned home to find Linus waiting for me. All right, kid, I got a new mission for you. You really gotta please the boss with this one. He said you have one week to collect the soul. If you don't, he might strip you of your demon status. What? Less talky, more slaggy. Who's the target? It's a former demon, ironically enough. His name is Seth. He went rogue and is killing and collecting souls for himself. Okay, I'm on it. I immediately set off in search of my target. It wasn't long before I arrived at the location and found him waiting for me. I knew this day would come. Sorry, man. Let's do this. I took out my sword and began to fight it out. I started by using my special techniques to charge at him with my demonic flame sword, but the rogue demon was incredibly powerful. He flew at me with tremendous speed and sent explosions around him so I couldn't get close. I won't go down like this. The battle raged on and on, neither side letting up. Our demonic blood gave us tons of endurance, so we weren't tiring out either. However, I managed to get a clean hit on him and turn the tide. Afterwards, I brought him to his knees. On days 62 through 63, I stood before the defeated demon. I had a couple of questions to ask before slaying him. Why did you start claiming souls for yourself? I didn't. I just stopped claiming them all together. What? This life isn't to hurt people, son. It's to help those who need it most. I... but... um... Spare me, and I promise to make you see the light. I feared the wrath of the Demon Lord, but the same feelings from the villagers before came rushing back. I needed answers. Okay, I'll spare you. What do we do next? Go back in a week, and then we'll talk then. Sounds good. I flew back to my base empty-handed. Oh, hey! You're home! Did you get the soul? Uh, they weren't home. Gonna try again soon. Sounds good. On days 64 through 67, I wanted to clear my head from the previous mission, so I went patrolling. During my travels, I spotted a grizzly bear attacking a village. Oh no! I touched down in front of the bear and confronted them. Stop attacking this village! Oh. Guess this one doesn't speak English. I began to fight off the bear. They were surprisingly strong, but I had fought off literal demons at this point. Surely I would overpower a bear easily. Even so, they managed to land a few hits on me. You can still flee if you want. After a bit more fighting, I managed to slay the bear and save the village. Everyone began to celebrate. Thank you so much for the help. Get away from me. What? Oh, I I'm... I'm sorry, I... No, no, I'm, I'm sorry. Force a habit. Happy I could help. I spent the rest of the evening socializing with all the residents. Am I becoming a good guy? On days 68 through 71, I arrived back home. This place needs some sprucing up. I got to building, adding an additional room on the first floor. Cool, cool. I continued on, adding a layer to the top of the tower. Cool, cool, cool. I then expanded the farm, making it giant. Cool, 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 Later in the day, I was admiring my work when Linus ran up to me in a panic. Max, where is the demon soul? The boss isn't happy with you. Sorry, Linus. I'll go get that right now. Don't come back without it. After our conversation, I set out to talk with Seth. On days 72 through 74, I returned to Seth's location to see what he had to say to me, but nobody was there. Is this some kind of trick? As I was about to give up, a cow walked up to me. Hey, are you looking for Seth? Yeah, where is he? Follow me! I followed him into a secret village filled with animals and villagers. What is all this? Suddenly, Seth revealed himself to me. These are all poor souls that the demon lord wanted me to collect for him. They're kept safe here. Wow, very cool. I've still got a long way to go until I can become an angel. Wait, we can do that? Yes. You just have to save enough souls and you're accepted. Cool. Let's get started. Seth then tossed me a map. This map leads to one of the Demon Lord's victims. Go help them. On days 75 through 78, I traveled to the location on the map. There, I found a villager being attacked by another demon. Hey, leave that villager alone. 
Another demon? What are you doing? I'm the good guy. I used my new sword technique and crashed down onto the demon. The battle was fierce, but I had slayed enough monsters at this point to know what I was doing. He ran at me with immense power and blinded me with his attacks. I tried my best to evade him in the sky. After a long fight, I managed to take him down. Yo, thanks for saving me. Of course. If you want to stay safe, go here. I then tossed him a map to Seth's hideout. Uh, uh, I'm good. But thanks though, demon dude. Oh. Well, at least I saved him. On days 79 through 83, I returned to Seth's hideout to find it totally wrecked. In the rubble, I found Seth critically wounded. He didn't have much time. What happened here? We were attacked by a huge demon and a bird. Linus. After speaking his last words, Seth died right in front of me. No! I quickly flew back to my base to find Linus already waiting for me. Where's the soul, Max? I... Save it! The Demon Lord is not happy, Max! You've gone rogue! I'm helping people! You're a demon, Max! You don't help people! You destroy them! Now, I must destroy you! What? Linus then attacked me. For a little bird, he was insanely powerful and had the agility to match. It was hard to even land a single hit on him. I don't want to do this! That's too bad, traitor! He lunged forward and dealt a big blow. I had no choice but to give it my all. I used all the abilities I had at my disposal, cycling between my blade and my bow, until I finally took Linus down. As the sky cleared, I was transformed into an angel. I now had 20 hearts. Whoa! I'm an angel? On days 84 through 87, I was eager to explore my new powers, so I went scouting for some people I could help. I flew for a while, until stumbling upon an abandoned village. It's quiet here. Too quiet. I accidentally stepped on a twig, which broke the silence. I don't like the sound of that. A demon jumped out and began to attack me. I took the opportunity to test out my new angelic strength. I was still capable of using my mnemonic flame sword, and in combination with my new form, I was able to kill the demon rather quickly. Once the dust settled, I returned to my base and worked on it a bit more, giving it some finishing touches. First, I filled all the rooms that were still empty from my earlier expansions. Lastly, I added a few things just to give it a small angelic touch. With that, my manor was complete. It really screams Max. As I was admiring my work, Angela the Angel flew down to me. I've seen what you've done. We need your help. What's up? Angel City is under attack, and Castiel and the others are captured. Here, take this for the battle ahead. She then tossed me an angelic thunder sword. Thank you. After that, we quickly flew off in the direction of Angel City. On days 88 through 92, we arrived at Angel City to find the Demon Lord waiting. He had destroyed the city during his rampage. I'll take it from here. Try to find any survivors. Angela agreed, and we parted ways. Demon Lord, stop this madness! You gave me the map to this place, Max. This is your doing. I knew there was no reasoning with him. I pulled out my angelic thunder sword and began to attack. With my new blade, I was able to use the power of electricity like all the angels before. I combined my abilities with my demonic flame sword, but the demon lord was too powerful. He had brutal snake-like abilities that overwhelmed me quickly. Uh, I can't do this! I have to run! You've always been a weak demon, and now you're an even more pathetic angel. <laughs> I flew away humiliated, until arriving at a safe spot. I have to get stronger, for the sake of everyone. With my new resolve, I began to train as hard as I could. Day and night, I took out countless mobs, but something was missing in my technique. I took out both of my swords, dual wielding them for a combination of angelic and demonic power. Wait a sec, why didn't I think of this earlier? Just then, a demon revealed themselves to me. Ah, what's a little angel doing out here? I'm strong enough to take you out in a minute. Prove it! The demon lunged at me and began to attack me with great speed. Luckily, my training had greatly improved my skills. With my two blades, I fought off the monster with a combination of my angelic thunder and demonic flames. How can an angel use demon abilities? The battle raged on, but it wasn't long before I was able to overpower them. Once I touched down, I slayed the demon. After the battle, I gained a new demon ability that allowed me
me to send a massive dragon made of flames at my enemy. That is sick! Additionally, I gained a new angel ability, the Conjure Flurry of Electricity, to eliminate my opponents. On days 93 through 96, I began to prepare for my final encounter with the Demon Lord. I started by going mining and found some diamonds that I could use for armor. I crafted them into a diamond chest plate and replaced my current iron one with my armor ready. I packed up tons of food as well as arrows for the battle ahead. Angel City, here I come. But just as I was going to take off, a strange creature scurried up to me. Oh, hi there. The little guy told me his friend's soul was trapped in a jar guarded by a scary demon. He told me where to find the location, so I set off to save him. I traveled far and wide until I came across a tall structure with a demon sleeping on top. There's the jar. I sneakily walked up to the jar, trying my best not to wake the demon. Once I was close enough, I broke the jar, setting the soul free. Thank you. Unfortunately for me, the sound of the jar breaking woke up the demon. What the? Hi there, sleepyhead. The demon took out his flail and began to attack. He was surprisingly powerful for his size and extremely proficient with his weapon. He sent a flurry of slashes at me, but I had one thing up on him, my wings. I took to the sky and attacked him from afar with my new demonic ability. Once he was weak, I used my angelic ones to finally take him down. After defeating the monster, I knew I was ready to face the demon lord once and for all. On days 97 through 99, I flew back to the city of angels to find it swarming with demons. Man, you guys are just the worst. Slaying time. I pulled out both my demonic and angel blades, then went into battle. I started slicing and dicing the demon scum, and honestly, a lot of them went down pretty easily. After all my training, I had become a skilled warrior. I continued to fight demon after demon. After a while, they really started to pick away at my health. You are traitor to demon Ken. Yeah, I am. Demon traitor and proud. I continued to fight off the droves of evil demons, proud to be an angel fighting for good. After a lot of fighting, I managed to take down a majority of the bad guys. I continued searching for any other demons when I found an eccentric portal to the nether. It's time for your end, demon lord. And with that, I went through the portal. On day 100, I arrived on the other side of the portal. There stood the demon lord, with all the angels captured within a cage. Among them was Castiel. Castiel, I'll save you and everyone else as soon as I can. Wait, are you the demon I was hunting down? I was, but those days are behind me. I only help those in need now. Enough small talk. Why have you come to me, traitor? I'm here to take back the innocent lives you've stolen. Ah, what a joke. Since you could not fetch me my souls, I will get nerves instead. Tough talk for a dead guy. You will regret those words. The demon lord began to harness his power, turning him white before erupting into a massive explosion. Afterwards, he began to fly in the sky and fire cubes of dark matter at me. Each cube would explode the ground beneath it, leaving me little room to move. I took to the sky and dodged the best I could. I started by firing my electric bow at him, but one of the cubes managed to hit and blind me. Without vision, I was missing my shots. You can't hit what you can't see, foolish angel. Then I just gotta get in close. I flew in the direction I could hear him and began to go at him with my dual blades. I switched between my demonic flame sword and angelic thunder sword, overwhelming him with my combined powers. No, this can't be. I honed in everything I had learned and unleashed my new abilities on the Demon Lord, finally killing him where he stood. I did it! I quickly freed the angels from their prison and we all celebrated together. Woohoo!